We're back, we're back, of course we're back. Why wouldn't we be back? And he's back, it's Premium Ammo Avoider. He's back and he's ready to go. Here he goes, here he goes. Affirmative, he says in the chat. And Premium Ammo Avoider is tired, sick and tired of his debut at tier 10. He tried tier 10, he tried it. He wanted to get scout metal or patrol duty metal. He equipped his, his heavy tank with Binox, but he was unsuccessful, unsuccessful. He did 3,000 spotting assist and died uh, in his uh, top tier heavy tank on camp in a bushka map. So he's, he's decided to go back down to tier two. Cause, cause why wouldn't he go back down to tier two? He has to play to his strengths. He has to let his, his skills percolate and get better and better. He has to try and become a unicom in this game. And what better place to start than tier two, right? He's, he's back down in tier two where he can dominate on the battlefield. He can dominate, I tell ya. And, and that's what he's gonna do. He's gonna try and dominate. He had a taste of tier five. He had a taste of tier nine and then he tried tier 10. And he didn't like it, because uh, Wargaming always put him on a team of complete and utter morons. Morons. And uh, look at him, look at him, he's, he's, he's gonna start attacking to three, four, how much? Five, five, six, six damage, he's got six, which is the amount, that's his average damage at two. They take him out on the battlefield! They've taken him out on the battlefield, the premium ammo winner has tripled his average damage that he usually gets at tier two. He's up to 16. Now this is more like his style. This is what premium ammo, oh! He did not avoid a premium APCR shell up the ass there. And he's, he's disgusted, disgusted by that. And he, someone would actually shoot a premium shell at premium ammo avoider. Don't they realize that he's trying to avoid premium ammo and they shot him with premium ammo up the ass. But he's gonna, he's gonna hit back. Look at this, pumping shot after shot after shot. He's up to 25 damage. 25, surely. That's good enough to uh, uh, maybe achieve ace tanker. A ace tanker is coming. One day, Premium Ammo Avoider will get Ace Tanker. Let's see if he can do it today. That's his goal. That's his goal. He's up to 25 damage, so he's not far from getting Ace. Oh, he spotted again. And Ace taking another Premium Shell. There is a player on the enemy team that keeps shooting Premium Ammo Avoider with Premium Ammo. And he hides behind the house. He's behind the house. Why wouldn't he? Do? He's disgusted with this pay to win Premium Gold spamming the players that are purposely targeting. Our hero, premium, but waiting with their binox and, and their camo nets, uh, waiting for premium ammo avoider to expose himself so that they can shoot premium ammo at him. And that infuriates, he's, he's hiding behind the house. Cause, cause why, why wouldn't he? And his team is now complaining. And who is matchmaking? Says the STRB, who? Who is match? Well, uh, to let you know, uh, matchmaking is not a person. It's not a who. It's a, it's a what or a, or a how, uh, not who. Um, and just saying, that he's got, you've got your conjecture, conjunction, noun, you're, com you're confusing nouns and verbs. And Premium Ammo Avoider is now, he's let his, his Binox engage. Look at that, he's got his Binox engage and he spotted this, this enemy here, who is, he's proxy spotted, he's taking, this Premium Ammo Avoider is popping him full of HE shells. He's down to one shell, he's gotta go for a reload. Premium Ammo Avoider, you gotta go for a reload, but he, and he's, he can't see because the, oh, he's exploded! He's exploded! He the, 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 the player, the, print, the gold spamming stat padding unicorn at a, a distance of 10 meters pumped APCR shells directly, directly at premium ammo void. Look, and he was behind the house. So he could not, he could not adjust his view. Uh, he was like this. It, he couldn't see anything. It was, it, it's a glitch. The game glitched, I tell you. It, it glitched. And, and premium ammo void was being followed and harassed. And, and, and it was just, it was unfair, the enemy, with, with his gold spamming tactics, harassing our hero, of targeting him, singling him out amongst all the other players, of waiting and uh, focusing on, on premium ammo avoider because they knew that he was the, the key member of the enemy team. Uh, if they take premium ammo avoider out, they know that, that the game, everything's lost. The rest of the team can't do anything. And so it was Wargaming's fault. Wargaming put that player on the enemy team that focus fired premium ammo avoider spamming gold and stat padding like like a okay uh, he didn't uh, get ace tanker well he did lose but he did 27 damage Ugh. he'll get ace tanker next time well guys poor premium ammo avoider did not succeed uh, he's back in tier two he's back where he belongs and i guess well uh, things didn't work out. He was, uh, you know, Wargaming put some players on the enemy team that uh, obviously knew what kind of a threat he was. And they focus fired him. 
you know, spamming APCR at him and the poor guy. At least that's Bob's story and uh, we're sticking with what, what is going on here? Why is what, have you ever seen anything this what is this collection of bots? What is going on? Okay. Who who gets to the top of the hill first in in Wargaming's version of a tank game? The Chinese tank with rocket boosters, the heavy one, the big slow BZ. It gets there first. Why? Because the Russians said so. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Uh, I, I think Bob put me in a bad mood. But we're going to cheer ourselves up. All is not lost. I know Premium Ammo Avoider, he kind of had a challenging game there. But look what we have now. We have Omnivu Freezer from the OBY clan. OBY Kenobi clan is playing his Progetto 46. And I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you guys, uh, you have to watch this whole game, okay? Because uh, I'm not trolling you. I'm not trolling you. I know we watched Premium Ammo Voider and it didn't, uh, you know, it didn't. You know how those games go. And this one's gonna kinda go the same way. This one's gonna start off very similar. Like they're losing by almost 2000 HP already. Uh, this guy's moved up to the hill and he's not I, th I think this guy has been watching premium ammo avoider to learn some tactics He's got up to the hill and he hasn't done anything, which is you know, always a good tactic and, Oops Oops and He took two shots, but he, and he back he preserved his HP But it goes from bad to worse guys because oh his team daddy my teammate just exploded and now he's worried about some guy down there not realizing that he could get overwhelmed at any second look at the mini map on top of the hill the enemies are here in force buddy they're here in force they're gonna come and here they come and you better get off the hill is my advice uh, the hill is lost because your teammates um, you got some guys behind you look at these guys behind them there not those guys these guys they're, they're really not in the fight they're not in the fight let's see if let's see if they can do it let's see if they can do it now okay they maybe it's okay maybe it's okay i'm looking at the mini map again and i may be changing my mind because now he has a kpz and another guy that possibly have moved into positions where they can help so it's kind of a stalemate it's a stale mate it looks about equal his team has an advantage on the low ground now, on the 1-2-3 line, it's looking like to me, on the minimap. Unless some people are not spotted yet. Oh, STRV spotted. So it looks about even. Looks about even. And he is just being patient and calm. He does not want to throw his HP away. That's what, that's what he's doing. Or that's what he's not doing. I guess the correct way of saying that is he's not throwing his HP away. Which begs the question, uh, if you're in a fragile tank that can surprise someone with burst damage. Why'd you go to the choke point, right? Why did you go where you know there's gonna be uh, five or six guns pointed at you? This is the choke point, the hill, right? You come on the choke, oh, 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 not too late. It's too late, baby, it's too late. But I really did try to shoot ya. And this lover, has moved right into enemy territory, Mr. Lava. And he knows the angles. He, uh, oh, 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 oh. So this guy has not done much. He's just not done much. And I have to say, uh, I question your selection of uh, initial location. That, uh, this is good now. This is good. But I question your selection of initial location. You went to the choke point in a tank that really can't fight well at a choke point because you're, you're fragile. And now you're gonna lose the hill, as I predicted. You'll notice uh, they're getting encircled on the hill. They're also getting capped, but look at that. Oh, he hit the house. There you go. Now he's got some long range shots. Okay, he's doing the sniping now. And now he does not notice the standard B circling around killing your teammate you could help your teammate by shooting the standard beat no he does not there's another he's he's completely ignoring what's going on here that people that he could have shot and now he's running away so i'd have to say tactically 
you, you. I know, I know it's a city map. I know it's difficult. There's nowhere really great. And now he's being kind of indecisive. He was going to leave, but he's not going to leave. So he has not made, with all respect, he has not made an impact on this battle. In fact, uh, as the M53, M55 says in the chat, clowns, team of clowns, so far you've sucked. Uh, but the one thing he's done is he's preserved his HP. He's, he's managed to do that at the expense of really accomplishing anything. He's only got 1,400 damage. And now he's willing to trade. He's going to take this guy out because he's got three shots. So that's good. Maybe he's, uh, his strategy was to wait till the enemies are low HP so that his burst damage, so that he can trade one shot for three. That's possible, right? Uh, or I think maybe it's just luck. Beccato. Oh, back up, back up. Beccato. Which means... You know what peccato means in Italian? It means pecked. You've been pecked. Go peck, peck, peck. He's got one peck, peck. Peck. He's waiting for the shot to reload. Peck. Peck. Why don't you just shoot? You've got two shots. You could kill him now. Hey. <laughs> peccato. Italians and their fascination with chickens, right? Everything's about chickens. So, he's perched on the... And he's not going to go help his teammate. Like, dude, you, you gotta... Just... He's so focused on wanting to uh, snipe. And wanting to stay safe. That he's completely oblivious to what was going on on the hill. You could have saved that teammate, right? You could have easily taken this guy out. And, and your teammate would be alive. Let's see. You know, if I was his teammate now, now this guy's going to have a great game. Well, let's pause it right there. Because he let his teammate die. And now it's him versus five. So it's, he's alone now versus five. So he could be a hero now. He could win all these medals and be amazing. But if I was his teammate that just died, I would be pinging his location and perhaps typing in chat. You idiot! Are you blind? So we have to say that, right? We have to say that so far, you, you, you've you been oblivious to what's going on for the most part. You've been very selfish about preserving your own HP and just completely oblivious to the teammates that went on the hill with you. It was a fairly equal fight on the hill. And I know that when you're on the hill fighting like that, if you kind of move up and make a move, you can't, you look at the minimap, like that, that teammate of his, Probably went up there and said, "Oh, I have a, I have a projecto with me. I'll go attack this guy. I'll go around the here, and the obviously my teammate in the projecto will come around, and we got him, right? And then his teammate committed, <laughs> and he's like, looking over the hill. Can I snipe someone? And that that's the infuriating, infuriating part of this game, right? Um, you just don't know what your teammates are going to do. He didn't see, it. you know, to be fair, he was looking at something and wasn't quite sure. And he missed the shot there. You know, it, it didn't work out. Uh, but it's still infuriating for the other guy because he's thinking, well, how, how could you not see? Why did you come on the hill if you weren't here to, like, to help fight on the hill? You see what I'm saying? Like the, his teammate, let me know in the comment section. If you were his teammate that just died at the end there, wouldn't you be infuriated? Wouldn't you just be saying like, what the, what's wrong with you? What, what's wrong with him? And again, he misses the first shot. And I, I, that tank exploded before he took this, the third shot. And why was that SPG pointed there waiting for him to come off the hill when he just killed his teammate in the SPD he was spotted okay let's see what he does here guys he's on a search and destroy mission there's one in the cap if they put three in the cap now there's two minutes and 27 seconds very hard to cap on this encounter mode. Oh, scorpion oh scorpion hit him ay 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 you can uh, you can rush the scorpion even if you take one more hit you'll take him out but you'll lose a lot of HP. The scorpion surprised him, guys. OK. 
Okay. I, I, I would appreciate your comments in the chat or in the comment section on uh, in this one. If you were on the hill and he played the way he did, wouldn't you be like, man, why didn't you help? That's my question to you. Now let's watch how he redeems himself. Because he will redeem himself here. Oh, look at this. Boom. Now we have a collection of enemies. Now let's berate the enemies, okay? We berated our, our hero. We berated Premium Ammo Avoider. Now we're berating this guy. Now let's berate the uh, the moron enemies that he's up against. Five of them. Uh, and they're up against one tank that happens to be an auto reloader that can take three shots so they know that right they know that this guy can take three times 240 damage shots so why wouldn't they get why wouldn't they stay together why wouldn't two or three of them get together and, and find him why would they go one at a time you know, they're low hp this is the dream for a progetto right because now the progetto can um, even if he takes a hit from the scorpion and if he doesn't die, he has three shots. Let's, can he feather it through the... No. He's going to surprise the scorpion here. Boom. He took the shot. Oh, the scorpion. Oh! Oh! Did you see what happened with the scorpion? The scorpion snapped it and hit his track. Because the scorpion is a German premium tank that used to be really accurate. Oh, but he was on the move, Klaus. He was 10 feet away, and he couldn't hit him. <laughs> you should buy a scorpion. Actually, I think I made a video that said you should buy a scorpion. <laughs> and the T-54 modified? What are you doing? What's he doing? Oh, R Russia! So, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Leave it in the comment section. Is he deserving of his Kolobanov performance? Yes, he is. Because he did stand alone versus five and he racks up the medals. Pascucci's, Kolobanov's, Levaya, whatever. Uh, Radley Walters, high caliber and top gun. He ends up finishing on top with nine kills. And making 138,000 uh, credits. So what do you think about that? What do I think about what? that? What, what do I think about that? It's the blind leading the blind, I tell you. A, a selfish okay. player who, who, who can't even see what's going on on the minimap. A, a teammate's right beside him. And he does. I'll show you someone that knows what he's doing. Let, let's watch Premium Ammo Fighter. He's not selfish. Here we go. Here we go. He's back. He's going to try again in Tier 2. He's on a different map. And uh, this is a guy who's a team player. Team player, I tell you. He's not going to go to a position and, uh, and not help his teammates. That's what usually gets him in trouble, is helping his teammates. He's, he's, he's so unselfish that it gets him into trouble. Look at this, he's driving left and right, smoothing out the pathway for his teammate that's following him. He, he knows what he's doing. He's not gonna go on Himmelsdorf and, and go up on the hill and then not fight on the hill. Oh, he's turned around. He's turned around and he, he's leaving. Wait a minute. He calls help. He wants help, his teammate wants help. And, uh, well, he's, uh, well, in this particular game, he's stopped on the hill, he's parked. And I, I, I think he's, uh, uh, well, he's, he's, he's turned Himmelsdorf off, is what he's done. So, of course, he can't, um, he can't, well, he's, he's shooting the rock. Uh, he's never going to be on Himmelsdorf, is what I'm saying. He'll never end up on the hill. That's why he, he he'll, he'll always help you, but he's, he's got Himmelsdorf turned off, so he won't get Himmelsdorf. Um, and he's, he's found a hiding spot, I guess, is what he's done. He's dry Maybe his keyboard's upside down. I think that's what happened. His, his keyboard is upside down, and he's driving backwards. Uh, so, and now his teammate's calling help. Uh, well, maybe this isn't the best example of, uh, you know, of a, of a team player. He's, well, he's defending this flank. That, that's what he's doing. He's defending this flank. If, if the enemies push and, and win this flank, he'll be ready here. He'll, he'll proxy spot them while they come by. That's his plan, is to proxy spot anyone who comes down the one line uh, either that or he's uh he's, he pressed battle and now he's gonna make himself a ham and cheese sandwich and he had to leave the away from keyboard or um the, his teammate in the pz2 is calling help you need to and his other teammate is calling help 
You guys need to group up like they did in Himmelsdorf on the hill. You should all get... This is the safe spot on the map. You guys should come and, and right beside Premium Ammo Avoider. This is the perfect spot to avoid Premium Ammo, I guess. That, that, that's, that's what I'm talking about. He's, he's avoiding the Premium Ammo. He was so upset in the previous game when, when that, 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 that selfish player spammed APCR at him that he knew, he knew that he had to change his tactics. That's what he's doing, changing his tactics. Um, and so he, this, this, this is the new tactic. It's uh, to find a nice safe area of the map and uh, he's, he's, his Binocs are engaged, I'll tell you that much. They're engaged. You can't deny that, right? He knows that. If you want the Binocs to be engaged, you have to stay motionless. And he's been motionless now for about three minutes. So th they are engaged. He's got a lot of view range. And, and everyone knows that view range... You said that yourself, Klaus. You said view range was really important at the at the low tier. So ha, so there you go. See, it's your fault that, that, that he's trying this strategy. It's all because of that video you made where you said, Oh, oh, you're going to play the low tier? Vision is important. You should... Uh, uh, you should pack Binox. Yeah, by that, that, yeah. It's negative says premium ammo avoider in the chat. No, it's not. It's not close as well. It just, I guess he just likes this strategy. Well, let's see if he can proxy spot the tank that the tank that comes by. And uh, the PZ2 says noob team. Negative says premium. Oh, he's proxy spotted. He's see. <laughs> I told you. He's his strategy has worked. He has proxy spotted. What? Uh, unfortunately, none of his teammates are alive to uh, to shoot. Uh, he, he's not getting very much spotting assist because all his teammates are dead. So, he, and he's... Whoa! He's jumped... He's jumped... He's jumped into the lake. Well, he's ammo racked. He's cooling off the ammo... The ammo rack's really hot because it's ammo racked. And he's cooling it off. And, uh... He's under the sea. Under the sea. He's under the sea. Just you and me. Under the sea. Under the sea. It's very frightful and delightful under the sea. <clears throat> all right, okay. All right, all right, so the Progetto game was better. What do you want from me? I didn't know he was going to jump into the lake. Uh, let's, uh, well, he might get suspended for such a, a, a display of unsportsmanlike attitude. It's possible that Premium Ammo Avoider is going to get banned again. Oh, boy. We better not send this replay into Wargaming or he may, he may ban our hero. Oh. Now I feel bad. Now this video's gone on long enough. Long enough, I tell you. I don't know why I do that. I'm getting too old for these, uh, these videos. I might have to find a different YouTuber to make intros for. Uh, I thought it was going well. I thought we had, you know, we were gelling and things were working out well between us. But, uh, obviously, obviously you don't appreciate my input. All you want to do is show those great, ooh, ooh, look, he got Kolobanov's medal. Ooh, look, look at that. He's one against five. Yeah. This is real world of tanks. But this is this is what you get, right? The game sucks, and then you die. <laughs>